seven GOP presidential hopefuls went head to head in their second debate last night, covering everything from securing the southern border to ensuring American economic growth. Meanwhile, the frontrunner candidate, former President Trump, holding his own event with auto workers in Michigan. NBC's Drew Petromo has the latest from Washington. Drew, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Maureen. It was a fiery and combative debate with each, with each of the Republican candidates looking for that breakout moment to change the direction of the race. From one, Tim, from one admirer, GOP presidential candidates taking aim at each other and the frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, who wasn't even in the room, but is leading in the polls. You're not here tonight, not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on this stage and defending your record. Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. The candidates ire also focused on President Biden, who drew criticism on everything from the economy to border security. Joe Biden waved the green flag. It told everybody to come. And now we've seen six million people cross the border. We've had more fentanyl that have killed Americans in the Iraq, Vietnam, or Afghanistan wars combined. Wages are not keeping up with inflation. Auto workers and all American workers are feeling it. And families are struggling in this economy. One issue dividing the Republican candidates, the war in Ukraine. Our national vital interests is in degrading the Russian military. The reality is we just because just because Putin people. is not an e Putin's an evil dictator does not mean that Ukraine is good. We're going to give Ukraine to Russia and then we're going to give Taiwan to China and think that's a foreign policy that will make our nation less less successful. During the debate, Trump speaking to supporters at an auto parts supplier outside Detroit, seeming to poke fun at the candidates debating. You know, we're competing with the job candidates. They're all running for a job. No, they're all job candidates. They want to be in the, uh, they want to, they'll do anything. Secretary of something. They even say VP. I don't know. Does anybody see any VP in the group? I don't think so. The latest NBC News poll shows Trump leading the Republican primary by 40 points. Now, in a statement, a senior advisor to the Trump campaign called on the Republican National Committee to cancel future debates, calling them boring and inconsequential and saying they will do nothing to change the dynamic of the race. On Capitol Hill, I'm Drew Petromo. Maureen, back to you. Drew, before you go, was there anyone else missing from last night's debate? Yeah, if you remember, former uh, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson did participate in the last debate, but this time he did not make the, repolling, the polling requirements set by the RNC, so he was not allowed to participate. Yeah, all right, Drew. Thank you so much. We're expecting a lot of reaction throughout the day, so we'll stay on top of that. Thank you.